If you're happy and you know, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, and you really want to show. If you're happy and you know, do them all. Stamp your feet, clap your hands. Welcome to this class again. It's your teacher, Anunciata. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Wow, we did counting numbers in twos. We did in fives. We did in backward, forward. Today, we want to do it the easiest way, counting in tens. And we were saying, when I add my fingers, when I count my fingers on one hand, how many are they? We did one, two, three, four, five. Uh -huh, count the other hand. One, two, three, four, five. So when I put them together, how many fingers do I have? How many fingers do I have? Someone to guess, someone to guess, how many fingers do I have? I've had someone guess correctly. I have 10 fingers. Now, count the toes. We are now counting the toes. Someone is counting the toes. I'm not seeing you counting. Can you please do it? Do it for me. Do it for me. When you count the toes now, you get how many are they? Nine. What happened to the other toe? You mean you ha only have nine toes? I don't get so. Count again, count again, count again. Uh-huh. Give me the correct answer. Who has the correct answer? You have ten toes. So when we are counting numbers in tens, it is as easy as peasy. Now, when we are counting numbers in fives, we did the numbers and we wrote them nicely very well. We started with zero. We went to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we said the ten comes here. So what was the rule for counting in fives? The rule for counting in fives was you count the first number loudly, zero, then we go one, two, three, four, and you circle the fifth number as you shout, five, then we go again, six, quietly, seven, eight, nine. Then you circle the fifth number, ten. And we learned that when you're counting in fives, the rule is the number has a zero or a five. So if I was supposed to add on, I will have which number appears after five that has a zero. It is a one and a zero. So which number is that? Ten. Okay, then. After that, which number is between, is after 10 that has a 5? It is 15. And we learned so easily that all those numbers must have a 0 and a, a 5. Now, for the numbers in 10s, it's now different. Numbers in 10s, it's now different. One thing about numbers in 10, we are saying they are continuing now 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and the next number is 20. So when you're counting in tens, you are also going to do the same way we did when counting in fives. The zero is up. So I'd say zero, one, two. And when you're counting, make sure you're confirming how many you're adding so that you scream on the bigger, the, the tenth number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you come to ten, then eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So, can someone tell me what have you realized about these numbers when you're counting to? When you're counting in tens, what have you learned about these numbers? Somebody tell me what have you learned about these numbers. Please, there is something you've learned about these numbers. I need to hear from you. What have you learned? We have learned that when you're counting in tens, the numbers also must have a zero. Must have a zero at the end. Because we had zero, then we came to ten, then we are at twenty. Now, someone to tell me. Which number will come after 20? Which number will come after 20? The number that will come after 20 is, that has a zero, is 30. Then, after 30, which number will follow? 40. 
Then after 40, which number will follow? 50. Very good. Do you know what? These numbers, it's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but added a 0 at the end. Do you know that? So if the teacher decides today to rub this number here and tells John, kindly fill for me the missing numbers here. Will John be able to fill in the missing numbers? Let's see. Will John be able to fill in the missing numbers? We have said that the numbers when you're counting in tens, they have a zero at the end. So John comes here and says, the teacher said the number must have a zero. So started with the zero and he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So which number comes after nine that has a zero is ten. Then John gives the Pen to the next one. Who is Jen? And Jen says, the teacher said, the number must have a zero. So let's count. From 20, it has a zero. So we are shouting 20. Then we come slowly. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And the next number that has a zero after 29 is 30. So let's learn how to count numbers in tens in the forward direction. So we will go 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And now, during the next lesson, when you're going to go backward, we are now going to find out when I'm told to count numbers 1, to 100 or 1 to 50 in the backward direction, what am I supposed to go? Will I go the forward direction or will I go in the backward direction? And through that, we are going to learn the counting backwards in 10. It was such a very nice moment to interact with you. I wish you well and I hope you join me in the next lesson as we count backward in 10s. Thank you very much.